Hi, this is Tammy. This video and this channel's content is meant for those that are 18 and over. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back with another Christmas and July video. So this is my second video that I'm doing for Christmas and July 2020. So in this video I'm going to share with you some um, shaker tags that I created. So <laughs> I thought these were snow and cocoa shaker tags until I was getting ready for this video and I pulled out this pack um, and it says Merry Days. <laughs> so uh, this is some um, Merry Days and Snow and Cocoa shaker tags. <laughs> so I used those really thick tags from Michaels and I forgot to pull those. But um, I have a pack of those. I actually have two packs of those and I've hardly used them so um, whenever I'm doing tags lately and the project that I'm doing can use a thick tag like that, I'm using those tags. So I used, I, I pulled out that box of tags and um, I uh, covered four of them with um, paper from my from my stash so I said this in the previous video but I have a lot of the tag sets that I've gotten from um, uh, Tuesday morning so I actually have two I had two of these I used pretty much one already on this project and on another project I had a few different packages of snow and cocoa um, tags and ephemera um, but I didn't have any paper, so, <laughs> so I looked through my stash and I found a Christmas collection that had, and I don't even remember what, what collection, actually it was a single sheet that I had that had these pretty, um, d d polka dots on it that looked like snowflakes to me, so I used that on two of them, and then on the other two, these, this paper is actually some mason jars that are turned upside down to look like snow globes and then they're filled so that's what that paper is and I cannot I don't know what collection they came from because they weren't in a book they were single sheets um, so I know that when I was um, purging my craft room there were Christmas collections that I knew that I wasn't gonna use but I did pull out some of my favorite pages from them before I donated those packs so it could have been from something, but again, I don't remember what collection. So these first, so what I did with them is I used the Michaels thick tag. I used some of this tool and I doubled it. I just folded it over and then um, I, uh, so I covered the tag. I glued on the tool on three sides and I either left the bottom open or either the top. It depended. I don't know. I guess how I was feeling that day. I don't know. Um, so I left one, either the top or the bottom open so that I could fill it with with um, sequins. Then I put in some sequins. Actually, before I did that, I layered on some different things. So this is one of the snow and cocoa tags. These are some of the, I believe, some of the snow and cocoa tags as well. Um, and then I put the tool glued it down on three sides, put the um, sequins, glued down the bottom side, put it on some 110 pound card cardstock and traced it out and then glued that down to cover the edges of the tool. And then um, when I was stringing it up, I used some of the string that was in the Merry Days collection on two of them. It's a really, really thick cord. So then I also decided to take some of the um, other little tags that they have in the pack and then just double them up so that it's multiple tags. And they they don't have, I thought they all had, but I guess not. So these don't even have a two from on them. So I can stamp two from on the back of this one or either write a note. And then I'll use these um, when I'm sending out happy mail and stuff for, for the holidays. But so cute or either I could just use it as a Christmas tag. Really cute, really easy to make. So that's the first one. This is the second one. So these are all, this is a Snow and Cocoa tag. Um, as well as these two, they came from a, a similar pack to this one. <clears throat> so all of these are tags. So there's 12 tags in here and everything has a little hole in the top for you to, you know, put onto um, some twine or something. So then I did the same thing, covered it with the tool, filled in the sequins, um, and then um, put the, the cording on, and then I strung on two more pieces. So this fa-la-la-la-la -la 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 came from the Merry Days up here. 
So there are some sentiments. So this is a really cool pack if you can find it. And I don't even remember. Actually, I had bought one and I didn't remember that I bought it. And then when I saw it again, I bought a second pack. But I'm glad that I had two packs because, like I said, the first one went really fast. But it has some sentiment flags at the top. They're also punched for, for you to use as tag. It comes with two different twines. And then um, 12 sheets of this backer paper and then different tags and stuff. So again, I hung two pieces of additional tags. And then that's the same. And then this one I covered with a thinner. This is just a 65 pound cardstock. And you can see, you can see more of the indentations and stuff like that. From This is glue right here. I don't know how that happened. But you can see all of the, the sides from the, the, um, the tool. We're on the, the, the 110 pound cardstock. You don't see it as bad. So this one, I'll probably have to either keep this one or take it. Take the, uh, the twine off and then recover it with 110 pound cardstock. So here's another one. So this one, I got the idea for this one because this, the like I said, the paper in the back has a bunch of different <clears throat> jars and stuff that are turned into snow globes. So then I just use these snow globe tags. <clears throat> Excuse me. These snow globe tags, or actually these are like um, clo cloche cloches. Um, so I just use these on here and then I use these two tags on the top and then some yarn that I had in my stash and then this one is some eyelash trim that I had in my stash and then I love this one how it has the die cut ho 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 and then that cute little Merry Christmas little um, wreath so this one I filled with more sequins <laughs> I got carried away with the sequins but this is one of the um, the tags. Yes, this is one of the tags. This Christmas tree is one of the tags. I put it on the side and then I trimmed off the excess. And then I put a little house, one of the house uh, die cut pieces. And then just a bunch of sequins. So I didn't use a lot of stuff inside because the, pa the paper is already really patterned. And then the, um, the little tags are already so, you know, they're full-on pictures and they're embellished really cute um, so yeah there was, these were really really easy to make and um, I popped up you'll see you'll, you may have noticed that I did a lot of dimensional stuff so I popped up you know one or two or you know one of the layers that's inside the um, underneath the the tool so those are so cute and I love the way that they turned out so that's for the tags that I created um, so that is my second installment for Christmas in July 2020. So thank you so much for watching. I will be having more Christmas in July videos. So I hope you come back and um, check those out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all being safe and um, taking care. Bye.